to my channel. Welcome to the Rich Girls Corner. I am Emilion Moore. And I really appreciate you guys for coming, checking me out. This is my first video and I'm like super excited. Oh girl, do you see that highlight, honey? Yes. We're gonna get into that. So before we get started, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and hit that thumbs up and hit the bell for the notification. That way you guys know whenever I upload a video. For those who are wondering whose little head is this, this is Gabby. Say hi. Happy Gabby. Happy. Happy Gabby. Happy. <laughs> Yay. She helped me a little bit throughout my makeup. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so as you guys can see, my brows are already done and my shirt says hashtag no filter, but we're gonna change that in a moment. So we're gonna get into beating my face. Because it is in desperate need of a beat. My brows are already done because it takes me a million and one days to do so. And they're thicker than what I normally like them because the lady at the nail shop jacked them up. So I'm trying to let them grow back in. <laughs> Life's so grand. Anywho, we're going to start off by priming my face. I have a cosmetic line. You guys don't know that. I have a cosmetic line. It's called RGE Cosmetics. And it stands for Rich Girls Essentials Cosmetics. Um, when you hear the name, you automatically think, okay, well, I have to have some type of coin to buy this product. And all reality, it is a reasonable price. Um, everything is all handmade. This is the clear hydrating priming setting spray. And then I have a Malika hydrating priming setting spray which has a little glistening and glitter and you know a little gold tint to it or whatever so when you spray your face with or without your makeup you're automatically snatched and beat okay i use it when i'm not wearing makeup when i'm wearing makeup to refresh my makeup i use it all the time so then we're gonna go in with my brushes i have a line of brushes they come in a set of five. They are round oval shaped brushes. They're all cruelty free, synthetic. Very, very soft to the touch. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with the bigger guy. Cause everything's bigger in Atlanta. Okay, that's not a saying, but I made it one. It's one now, okay. For those who do not know, I reside in the ATL. I am not from the ATL. No, I'm not. I'm from a little bit of everywhere. I was born in Colorado, raised on the West Coast. California is home where I became a woman. Oh, that looks so good. Feels so good, looks so good. I did not just, I did that. I just completely wiped off my brow. <laughs> That's fun. That's fun. Okay, so we're back. And I did my best I could to fix my eyebrows. And guess what? They still look like. If you guys are looking at my finger, I burnt it. Trying to be Susie Homemaker. So girl, let's talk about this drama with all these YouTube influencers like like it's just too much drama for absolutely nothing and I'm nosy so I do like watch all the little drama you know drama channels and stuff shout out to here for the T2 honey um that keep me informed in everybody else's business but some of the stuff that's going on is like why are like what is what is the drama for for real and poor Jeffree Star like I feel so bad for him he seems like an asshole, but a lot of the times, the assholes be the sweetest ones. I can attest to that because I'm one of them. I know I'm an asshole, but I'm a sweet asshole. And people keep hollering, you know, we just need to see different YouTubers and with more content and different talent. But at the same time, you're still watching these shows <laughs> that you are complaining about. So what are you really complaining for? Like, you know, you're, we're the cause 
behind people, you know, making money off their channels. And I'm all here for it. By all means, make your money. If, hell, if I had as many subscribers and followers, it would probably be the same thing. You know, I'm not mad at nobody making their money. I'm all about people making money. Hell, if I can help you make some money, I'm in, I'm all there for it. I'm here for it. But when it's like, you know, people are using you just to get to where they're trying to go. And once they're there, they're just done with you. It's kind of like you burned your bridges. You know, you have burned your bridges. So don't come over here looking for a ladder or looking for a boat after you burn your bridges, you know? If that makes sense. In my mind, it sounded right, but when it came out, it made no sense. But what I'm trying to say is, you can't expect to come back and expect all, everybody to be your friend after you just burn all these people. Like, people don't work like that. Another thing, like, people are so disappointed with just other people's business. And what you fail to realize is that's them folks' business. You don't have to necessarily like it, but you know, it don't mean nothing to you if, I mean, it don't mean nothing to them if you don't like it, that's their life and they still have to live it. You know, we all, and I say we, cause we all do it, whether it's an influencer or just a subscriber or whoever, you know, we all tend to, kind of judge and you know especially when our hands aren't <laughs> aren't clean you know we tend to judge and say what we wouldn't have done or what we would do and this that and the third and guess what it's not you boo i say all that to say this my grandma used to tell me may she rest in peace it don't cost you to mind your business but it costs you everything if you mind mine <laughs> Yes, my grandma used to say that. My grandma was like, she's like me. She's a sweet asshole. I miss her. Okay, so now that we're back, because I've done my face to begin with. So, we're going to try it again. But yeah, like I was saying, like this drama is just like, people are going through way more important stuff. And, you know, don't get me wrong, like, you know, Jeffree Star, I love him. I love his page. I love his channel. He's just creative. And, you know, a lot of people kind of was looking at Jeffree sideways because he has all this drama going on with all his friends. But, and sometimes... You could look at things and like, you know, if it's a repeating cycle, a lot of times it's the person, but sometimes it's not. It is the person to a certain extent because you keep allowing these type of people into your life, you know, but when you just want friends, you know, you'll kind of, you know, ignore certain signs and that goes for just relationships period, whether it's your boyfriend your friend girlfriend or whatever the case may be you know we see certain things but we ignore the signs that really should not be ignored whatsoever you know who does not want a good friend you know a lot of people uh, say you know i don't need no friends i never need no friends ooh, 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 ooh. and then the moment they don't have them it's kind of like damn people just stop messing with me dealing with me but at the end the same breath, you was just hollering you didn't need no friends. I can attest to that because that was me. I, I've been in that same boat. And as of right now, you know, I do have friends. I just don't talk to them all the time, I guess. Now, I am stepping out of my box. I don't even normally do bright colors like this, like as far as my makeup goes. Now, I love a nice mohawk, <laughs> colorful mohawk. I will insert pictures. Yes, honey. <laughs> and one thing about me, like, I don't like bad mouthing people. I don't. I don't like bad mouthing people. I don't like drama. 
at all. Like, if I can avoid it, then I will. But if I feel like baby is being pent in the corner, honey, we have an issue. We have an issue. You know, I'll tell you a little bit, of, a little bit more about myself. You know, absolutely love Atlanta. I love it. I couldn't see myself really living anywhere else but here. You know, I have lived in California. I love California, but I said, you know. If I ever decided to move back to Cali, like I need that bag. And when I say that bag, I mean that like that bag. You know, I don't want to be out there and you know, my rent is over two grand a month and I'm still living in a cardboard box, thugging it out. I be trying to milly rock and I can't get it. Okay, so guys, my eyes are, I think they're done. I don't know how I feel, but you know, after you put on your liner and you put on your lie lashes, yes, I said lie lashes, what I call falsies, lie lashes, cause they a damn lie. But once I put on my lie lashes, you know, everything might start looking a little better. We'll see. Whatevs. So now that my eyes are up, we're gonna go on and move into concealer. I like to contour and conceal. I don't always contour. Like, I don't contour like everybody else does. I only contour what needs to be contoured. Like, my jawbone is always already cut to fill. We don't need any extra cutting around this area. So, I like to cut my cheekbones. I like to do my nose and kind of contour my forehead and around, you know, that little area. Oh, yeah. I like to do my cupid's bow too on my chin sometimes just because it's cute. I like to get up under my eyes because you know I got them bags up under there honey got them bags you know girls getting old I've been 26 hell four years now I might turn 27 next year we'll see how I feel I am a simple tomboy girly girl I love 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 makeup but I'm one of those girls like I love my heels, but I love sneakers and tennis shoes. And, you know, I'm probably gonna reach for a pair of sneakers before I do heels. But I just tend to gravitate more towards heels. I mean, sorry, sneakers. And I'm short, you know, I'm all in like 5'2", five 5'3 five on a good day, depending on how the sun shining, where the wind blows. We're working on getting taller. Doesn't seem to be working any though. Okay, so I like to use this guy right here to blend in my concealer. Um, this is the second from Largest Brush that I showed you guys earlier today. and everything's looking snatched. Gabby needed a cup, so had to get the girl a cup. <laughs> she wants, she wants, okay? She's like her mom. Okay, so now that we're done with everything else, we're going to go in, wipe off our bake. What's left that Gabby did not wipe off. Okay, so now we're going to go in with 
my baby, my love. This is my liquid highlighter. It's called the Queen's Gold. And I'll do a quick swatch for you real fast so you guys can see exactly what it looks like and what you're getting yourself into. Now, I will say this much, baby. This is not for the faint of heart. This highlighter is blinding, okay? And it is build buildable. And a little bit goes a long way, so you don't need a lot. So I'll go on and get started. Okay, so a highlighter is done. As you can see, she is blinding with just one coat. I am absolutely in love with this highlighter. Like, probably one of the best things that I have done as far as my um, cosmetic line goes. So guys, this is it. This is the final look. I hope you guys like it. It looks like trash to me. But hey, what you don't like, other people love. So make sure that you like, subscribe, give a thumbs up, leave your comment down below, and make sure that you come back and visit the Rich Girls Corner, okay? Love you guys millions so much. Peace.